Hi everybody, today I'm doing one of my most requested videos, so I'm gonna show you guys my baby must-haves of 2020. I've had two babies under one and a half, and we have used a lot of different gadgets and a lot of different things, and I really love a lot of things, and some things I think are not worth the splurge or the money. So I'm gonna go through, and this video I'm really gonna focus on the larger items, like the strollers and the car seats and the sleepers and things like that. So, say, we're really excited to show you my favorite things, Chevy. <laughs> So I wanna start this video out um, by introducing myself and my children. If this is the first video that you're watching of mine, so I have a little boy named Ford who's 22 months, and I have a little baby boy named Shepard who is five months. So I had babies 17 months apart to the day. One was born on April 17th, one was born on September 17th the next year. I have really gone through the ringer with things that you really need and will really use for a baby and things that you think you need or you see like on, on a blog or on Instagram and you're like, oh, I need that and then you never use them. All babies are different as are all moms and that's totally fine. So something that your baby maybe likes or doesn't like, it could be the opposite for me. So I'm giving you my opinion as a mom, not a medical professional here. Okay, so first I'm going to talk to you guys about strollers. So I was going to show you all of my strollers outside and kind of how I put them in the garage, but it's too loud out there, so I brought them inside um, because I'm going to show you guys just some of the different features. So I recommend if you are having a baby or if you're looking for a new stroller that you try people's strollers out, that you go to the store. I feel like Nordstrom's got a great selection. Target's got a great selection. So many people have great stroller selections and push it around see which one you like the feel of and different things like that because it's all personal preference. So for me, I researched so many strollers, pushed around my friends, and I settled on the Epa Baby Vista. It's gonna come with the bassinet and the stroller seat, which is really awesome. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, I don't need the bassinet. Can you get it without it? No, it comes with it. But I love the bassinet for so many different reasons. And you know, our babies really only stayed in the bassinet for about three months, I would say, but you can get a stand. Um, it's just like this little wooden stand on like the Upper Baby site or at any store, and you can use this as like a freestanding bassinet. So there are these little like metal things on the side that make it, you know, pretty sturdy, and then you'll put this on here. I also unzipped it because I want to show you, you can unzip this and wash it if you're worried about the white getting dirty. This is like UV protection, and there's little air vents everywhere. Um, like here on the back you can unzip it underneath there's actually a vent so if you have a summer baby you know there are all these great features that make it really breathable and nice and there aren't many differences actually I think they're all like cosmetic differences between the 2018 and 2019 so I'm actually going to show you some of the other features on my 2019 stroller so um, this is the color though difference so I did get this Loic L-O-I-C um, that's this white color. A lot of people ask me, does it get dirty? I adore this white color. You can see after using it for about every day for about a year and a half, this is what it looks like. Also, they had this really pretty like mocha color here. So this year, um, because I like to try out new products and because I knew that we were, you know, having another baby, I got um, the current model of the Epa Baby Vista. You can get one Epa Baby Vista and literally it lasts you through all of your children. Just because like this is what I do, I have this one, but you could definitely just get one. And then it is a perfect full size stroller from newborn through toddler. So you can use it, you know, until your toddler is 50 pounds. This is the Epa Baby Vista set up as a double stroller. So that's obviously like what we're using right now. Now, the same as the other one, it came with the stroller seat, which is the seat that you see there on the top, and the bassinet. So the exact same bassinet as I showed you before in the white, only this color is called the William. Now, having two boys, I just really like this, but this is, it's almost like a gray tone, so I feel like you could use it if you had boys or girls. I really love this. These leather handles are just a really beautiful touch, and you can actually, I think, get these on Amazon. If you have an older version of the Upper Baby Vista, you can get the leather and um, attach them. I know that you can get these bars off of Amazon. Um, these come, like, completely off, and... I've actually replaced one because Ford chewed on it. There are all kinds of ventilation. There's the UV protection. 
So this is the rumble seat. You can see it doesn't have that component on the bottom that will like fold out for their legs to either fold down or to kind of just stay out. The, um, the rumble seat I think goes up to 35 pounds, whereas the regular stroller seat will go up to 50 pounds. Now, I use the bassinet whenever I have um, a little baby. This actually is newborn compatible. You can like lay it all the way back and you can get something called a snug seat. I personally did not use that. I just used the bassinet and I love the bassinet for newborns. The base without the strollers on there, I think it weighs like under 20 pounds. I think it's 19 pounds. So a stroller being light was a big thing for me, which is why I went with the Vista. With the stroller seat, I think it's like 25 pounds or 26. So this is a really lightweight stroller for as full size as it is. And another feature that I really like is this area in the bottom. So I could literally go grocery shopping with both of my babies and I would throw stuff in the bottom. I always have like diaper bags and all kinds of different things that I always need storage for. So this is pretty amazing for that and it's one of my favorite features of the stroller now i looked at like the fancy like the mima strollers and a bunch of different ones like that and i just even though they looked beautiful they weren't as versatile i feel like for a higher end stroller so that's another reason that i went with the vista all this stroller and like the actual durability the usability um it, I could go on and on about this stroller. It's definitely hands down one of my favorite baby buys of all of them. So Kyle just took the um, rumble seat off. So you can see these lower adapters. That's kind of um, how you're going to attach that lower one to it. So you have to take that off to fold it up. So he's taking that off. And if you have one baby, you don't have to take anything off. So all you do is click these little things. And it is the easiest thing in the world. Pops in right there. And Set so, tap. yep. See, and then to lift it up, all you do is lift that off. Transformers. <laughs> if you have an up a baby, this is the Mesa car seat, which I'm gonna talk about car seats here in a minute. If you have this car seat, you can literally take a baby right out of the car and put them straight onto the frame. Now, if you have like a Nuna car seat, which I'm gonna show you guys um, in my car seat portion, you just get these little adapters that you'll put right here and then you can attach that. So that's another option too that makes this stroller just fantastic. So two more things that we really like. I mentioned this a while ago, but I just wanna show you. So this is my diaper bag, it's large. I literally throw it right here. You can still put a whole bag or a backpack or whatever right there. So it's really great, like I said, for people that carry around a lot of stuff, which is us. And then we love these. So this one's from this morning, so it's gotta be cleaned. Um, but all you have to do is take this off, this little leather bar, and you can attach these. I always buy these at Nordstrom. I think you can get them on Amazon. I'm gonna link everything in this video. But then you can put like snacks and a little drink there for you know a young baby or a toddler or whatever. And um, for us, it was really great because it was how we would get Ford to eat snacks and eat fruits and vegetables and like drink his water and different stuff because he's out and about and, and being pushed around and kind of um, distracted. So I really love this feature. This, if you're a taller person, this if you're a shorter person this is adjustable so i think that's all kind of my favorite features like i said i'm just giving you my mom review of these and the reason why i chose this this one's uh, a great one too this one was around 500 dollars, which is you know half the price of these these are going to be around 970 dollars or so the um, up a baby systems now you can one of the tricks is you can get an older version of the vista and it's going to be cheaper so this was like 400, between four and $500, this new no one was, and it was in the Nordstrom sale. It was the threaded collection. And I wanted to show it just because it was an item in the Nordstrom sale. But, you know, for me, I really like one of these. Like if you have a second vehicle and you want to keep a smaller single stroller in a second vehicle, I feel like this is great, but it's it kind of is a little bit more, what would you say, Kyle? It's not as sturdy, not as, sturdy as the upper yeah. baby. Which, you know, this is a more expensive, uh, kind of like a higher end stroller. The Nuna does have different versions of strollers that are similar to this that I really like too. And I love the other Nuna products, like the Nuna car seat's actually my favorite, so I'll show that to you next. But, you know, all these things just depend on how many children you have, kind of what your lifestyle is. I do like this, but I wish that it had more storage, um, kind of like the Baby Vista does. 
All right, Kyle is gonna show you guys how this one breaks down. So I, like, I like this when I'm carrying it forward. It's a little smaller um, and it breaks down really easy. Yeah. That's it. That is nice too. And probably it's light. About, yeah, it's probably about 25, 30 pounds, so nothing too crazy. This is mom life trying to film a video and a baby doesn't want to take a nap. I have three car seats. This one is the one that I just showed you connecting to the stroller. It's called the Upper Baby Mesa. I really, really love this car seat. It connects right to the Upper Baby frame for the Vista. Um, but I really love this car seat once they get past about three months. So I know that you guys are choosing one car seat. So I'm just going to tell you my opinion because I do have two car seats because I had two babies transitioning. I really, really love this one for when they're a little bit bigger. I just feel like it's a little bit roomier, but it's totally fine for a newborn coming home from the hospital. The Nuna Pippa Light is the one that I really, really love for newborns. This is the Nuna Pippa Light. And I wanted to show you, this is just in the back of our Mercedes GLE. Um, it is, I got the black color. I think it's called Caviar. Nordstrom is usually where I will look for car seats and stuff like that because they have a really good selection. This one is just, to me, it fits more snugly with a newborn. Now, you can, like, there's a newborn head thing that you can get and, um, you know, a bunch of different things that you can kind of do to make it, you know, obviously, like, you can loosen up the straps. There's different settings. Like, you can raise this up as your baby gets bigger. But I really love this. We use it all the time. It's what we're currently using for Shepard. He's just turned five months. Um, this is the same thing as I showed you all ago. Like with that um, Mesa, it's got this really nice thing to protect them from the sun. I like them almost equally. I will say this one I like better for like a tiny, tiny baby. And then the other one, if you could choose, I like a little bit better for a larger baby. So this one is the one that Ford's in now. And it's called the Nuna Rava, R-A-V-A. As you can see, it's dirty because this is our life. I love this car seat. Ford transitioned into this car seat when he was, I don't know, maybe a year and like a couple months. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can almost do, uh, you can do like pretty little babies in this. But you can see just the size of this one in the car. Hands down, this is the best step up car seat to me. Like, I, I'm not even trying another kind because I love this one so much. It's got these little cup holders, and I just really love this one. So that's the Nunarava. I'm in our garage right now because we're about to pull this out again, but this is the Biaba high chair. This is the high chair that we use. It's in the garage because Ford sits at his little table now, and it had one of those harnesses in it, and we took it out to wash it, and I can't seem to find it anywhere, but we will pull this out soon. I like it because it looks pretty minimal and it's just really great um, the way that the baby sits in it. You know, I like the surface area of the table and it just looks really nice. If you're in the market for a jogging stroller, this one's folded up, but it's called a Thule. We never hardly use it because we don't really exercise with the babies, but I love the way that the babies fit into this if you're looking for a specific exercise stroller. Okay, so now that I've shown those larger items, um, I wanna come in here and I wanna talk about the sleeper. So, also with the strollers, they're, like I said, you can register for them. That's your splurge item, as are the car seats. I'm talking about these higher end, the ones that, you know, people will go in together to buy you, and these are just the ones that I had, but like Chico, I know has a really amazing car seat um, that I've heard about, and, and strollers, and there are a lot of more affordable brands, so I just want to mention that. This is another big ticket item. It's pretty amazing. In fact, I just read that I think they entered it into the Smithsonian. So basically, this is called a snoo sleeper. And it could not be more aesthetically pleasing and beautiful like in your bedroom. Here's the thing with the snoo sleeper. It is amazing. You're going to put your baby in it. You zip the baby up in here. And this is, it's got a sound machine in it. It's going to move to whatever movement your baby needs to um, be like shushed back to sleep. A pediatrician like spent years developing this. It's pretty amazing, and I'm not like giving safety things on this video or anything, but you can read about the safety stuff with the snoo. For the price tag, you're not gonna use it for very long. That is the catch. So, 
Shepherd, they you can keep a baby in here for a really long time, but I put a bed in my nursery and I ended up sleeping up there with him and I transitioned him into the crib a little bit earlier than a lot of people do because I was able to sleep up there with him. If you keep a baby in a bassinet for a long time, then this is definitely gonna be worth it for you if you can do a splurge like this. I only kept Shepard in it for a couple months, but those couple months, it was amazing. Is it completely necessary? I mean, if you're gonna have four or five kids, I would invest. If you're gonna have one baby, you know, if you have the money to splurge on something that you're going to use a couple months, then do it. But if not, you can definitely use, we have a halo swivel, um, which is just a bassinet that sits by the bed and you can swivel it towards you and swivel it away from you. Also, while we're on sleep, sleep sound machines are critical for sleep in our house, at least. I really like this. This is just the Marpac sound machine. It's going to have the two settings. And you can change the sound by twisting this and like opening and closing more of the holes. So the baby monitor that we use, it's called a Nanit. The Nanit is a little bit different than a traditional monitor because it is, it goes through like Wi-Fi or, you know, even if you have your Wi-Fi turned off, you can use your data. And it's on your phone or on an iPad or on a babysitter's phone or on a parent's phone, or if you guys are out on a date and you wanna know if the babysitter like put the baby down or if the baby's up from a nap, you can literally check it on your phone and it's amazing. So I've got it right here on the iPad just to kind of show you what it looks like. You actually um, are supposed to set up the Nanit on the back wall of the crib. I set this one up um, on the side of the crib, which is not actually correct. You're supposed to set it up right here. But it's gonna show you the entire you know the crib and it will have it has sound so you can turn your phone off or you can turn the iPad off and you can still hear the sound um, what I really love about the Nana is so we have one in Shepherd's room now and Ford's room we loved it so much so then you can switch to Ford's room you can get like um, I guess sleep analytics. So they'll email you and tell you how long it's taking your baby to fall asleep, uh, how long the naps were. It'll give you a week summary. I think that you pay uh, a little bit a month or a year for that subscription, like upon the Nanit. Um, and you get the most amazing information. So you can take it to your pediatrician or if you have somebody helping you um, help you with sleep with your baby or if you just want to know as a parent, like what time did they wake up yesterday? It's got all of that information and it's so amazing. So this is the floor stand and you can see like this is what the camera looks like. It stands on this nice floor stand and it's just super small and versatile, which is great because like when we went to Vail, you can take that top part off and you can bring it with you and it can be portable. A lot of people probably look at this and are like, oh gosh, well we can't just take it everywhere like we could the other monitor. You actually can and this is hands down one of my favorite baby products. Again, it's one of the more expensive um, monitors, but the one that I had before, um, it didn't work for me. And for me, especially having multiple babies, it's gotta work. We're gonna do a video on all of our favorite playthings. So Shepard's just got in this one. Uh, we just recently bought it from Target and we love it. He's just bouncing around. I do love this. So we did not have this for Ford. Um, we just got it for Shepard. So this is the baby Bjorn. I think this is a couple hundred dollars. Shepard got it for Christmas from my parents. And it's just kind of a little bouncer, but I like it because it's not like the rock and play where it's an infant needing to lay down. He can be like sitting up at four months or three months or, and he can bounce a little bit. So there's some movement. This is definitely one of my must haves that I did not have with Ford that I got with Shepard and I love. All right, and I am gonna show you the two breast pumps that I like. I have a full video on um, feeding a, a, what? Are you gonna pump in this video? Yeah, I'm gonna pump in this video. <laughs> I just want to show these really quickly because if you are breastfeeding, A, if you are not breastfeeding, if you aren't able to breastfeed, if you choose not to breastfeed, I chose to breastfeed, but whatever you want to do is up to you as a mom and a fed baby is a happy baby. So I just want to say that if you can't breastfeed, like do not beat yourself up, like be happy for that baby and you know, figure out whatever formula or whatever you need to do. 
Do you want me to model these, how you put them on? Yes, Kyle. <laughs> my hairy boob. <laughs> the Medela Freestyle is definitely my go-to. So I have the Medela that's the backpack pump. Um, I got this one from Target. I got the other one from Walmart. You can pretty much get these Medela products anywhere. So I love this one because it's tiny. I love it because it is uh, versatile. I bring it in the car. I bring it on trips. I just use it on the couch, in the bed, whatever. It does have the cords. But other than this, you know, it's pretty minimal. So you put this onto your breast and then it's gonna pump into the bottle. What I really love about the Medela Freestyle, it pumps straight into these bottles and you put the cap on and then you can just store it straight in your fridge. So let me show you. I literally like pumped this milk. I usually pump a lot more than that, but I didn't have much time. So then I put the top on and I throw it in the fridge. Now, if you are a working mom that is in the office um, or on the go, this Willow is a cordless pump that is pretty awesome. Now, if you pump more than four ounces, that's the only thing, you have to change the bag. So it really just, like with the strollers, it depends on your lifestyle uh, as to which one, but this is this is a really cool machine. So you put this in your bra, uh, you turn it on, it's pretty amazing. It's got these little bags that it's gonna store the milk in that you can put straight in the freezer. Um, so many reasons I really love this one too, especially if you're a working mom or in the car or stuff like that. I do tend to use my Medela a lot, but it's just my lifestyle. Um, if I'm on the go or if I were in like an office setting or something like that, this is pretty amazing. Um, this is the Willow pump. So, so we hope that you enjoyed our first video on baby must-haves. I'm the baby that must have these things. <laughs> One product that I will mention that I bought that both of my babies did not like was the Mamaroo. And I've heard so many people say that their babies love the Mamaroo. So it's just an example of how so many different babies have so many different just like likes and dislikes. It's, it's crazy how they have their own little opinions like of things that they like right off the bat. I will link all these products below and thank you guys so much for watching.